Welcome to the Life Touch Yearbook Training Series. In this episode, you'll learn how to manually add and edit orders for yearbooks and yearbook advertisements. Manual orders are cash or check orders taken outside of YB Pay, Life Touch's online ordering and credit card payment website. Examples of manual orders might include orders collected with a paper form at your school, donations from fundraisers, or advertisement orders from parents or businesses received on the phone. Let's try adding a manual order together. From the dashboard, we'll hover over Sales Tracker and select Order Management. On the right, we'll click Add Edit Orders. Let's start at the top and work our way down. Every order needs to be tied to a student or staff record. I received a check and a paper order form from the parents of a student named Carter Brown. I'll click in the search field and start typing Carter's name. There he is, and I'll click on his name to select it. You can see Carter's portrait and grade auto-populated here. If I accidentally selected the wrong student, I can clear the form and start over by clicking Clear Form. There. But that was the right student, so I'll get Carter pulled back up. The information here will be filled in automatically when we submit the order, so let's move on to the next section. Here we have our yearbook and options selection. From the drop-down, we can see our yearbook for sale, as well as the packages we created. Let's try selecting a couple of these options to see what they look like. First, I'll select the standalone yearbook, which has an order total of $8. We also have the opportunity to add some options to the order. Let's select yearbook stickies for $1, and you can see here that our total has been updated to $9. Let's go back to that dropdown and select package A. Here, you can see that all the options are pre-selected since they are all included in the package. If the order is for an advertisement without a yearbook, we have that option here too. Okay, let's get back to Carter's order. Looking at Carter's order form, his family wants package B, which is $20. They also want to order a shoutout, so I'll select that under advertisements. The shoutout is 10, so that brings our order total to $30. It looks like they also included a $5 donation, so I'll add that here, bringing our total to $35. Great! Let's move on to payments. Under the New Payment drop-down, we have all our payment options. Remember that credit card payments would be collected on YB Pay, so we don't see that option here. For payment types, we can record cash or checks. We also have the option of recording refunds, adding a discount, or recording that someone's check was returned unpaid. For Carter, we'd like to add a discount. Carter's mom, Tamara, volunteered at a recent yearbook fundraiser where we handed out $2 coupons to all the volunteers as a little thank you. Let's add that discount by selecting Discount from the dropdown. For the memo, I'll say Thank You Coupon for Volunteering. And for the amount, I'll type $2. Then we'll click Add Payment. There. You can see that the payment list now includes the $2 discount that acts as a credit on Carter's account. The balance due has also been reduced from $35 to $33. Tamara wrote a check for the $33. Let's get that added. From the payment dropdown, we'll select Check. In the memo field, we'll want to list the name of the person or business that is placing the order. In this case, I'll type in Tamara Brown. If you'd like, you could also enter her phone number here to make it extra easy to find her contact info if needed. We see that the balance due is $33, and here I'll enter the amount of the check, which is also $33, and then click Add Payment. There! The payment has been added, and the balance due is now zero. Next, we'll enter the customer's email address. This is required whenever there is an order for an advertisement, since a link to create the advertisement will be emailed to the customer. And lastly, we have a notes section where you can add any pertinent information about this order. Tamara mentioned that Carter's grandparents would be placing an order separately, so I'm just going to note that here so that when I see two orders created for Carter, I'll know that it's not a mistake. I'll type, grandparents will be placing separate order. There! Let's go ahead and save this order by clicking Save. Great! Our order was successfully saved we can see our order number here. Now, if we scroll back up to the top, we can also see that our order origin was updated to advisor entered, and we have dates in the created and modified fields. 
If we'd like to print a receipt, we can click Print Receipt here. After saving this order, we can continue to make and save edits to this account. For example, if Tamara sends an additional $5 in cash for a donation, I can add that to this order. Under Totals, I'll add $5 to the donations, bringing it to $10. You can see that a balance due has been updated to $5. I'll select cash from the payment dropdown, type donation from Tamara Brown in the memo field, and add $5 to the amount. Then we'll click add payment. Perfect! Our balance is zeroed out again, and the transaction is listed here below. And that's how to manually add and edit orders. For more info on managing orders, check out our other episodes. Happy yearbooking!